Next question is from Lean Queen. What are some good qualities or red flags to look for in a nutritionist? Have you guys ever worked with a client who worked with a nutritionist that was just terrible? Yeah. Where you saw what they did and you're like, wow, just I can't old work. school, I, like food pyramid. Oh, I've yeah. actually had pretty good had experiences one. with nutritionists. I haven't had two. I'm trying to think of a bad one. I had one, right one bad now. one. Um, most of them are pretty good. Most of them, uh, I think, uh, come from a behavioral as point. I think that's how a good. Those are the good ones. That's how you know you have a good one, right? When they're when they're they're looking at uh, addressing the behaviors around your eating versus just breaking down. Like if someone just breaks down what your body needs macro and calorie wise, and then they prescribe a diet just based off of that, that's a red flag that mm -hmm. they're probably not that good versus having a conversation around your eating patterns, the things you like, you don't like, and, you know, digging into why you eat these foods or why you gravitate to these certain things or why you tend to binge on the, like someone who's trying to talk to you about that uh, versus just breaking down nutritionally what your body needs. Um, I, that's your sign you're with a good I'm, one. I'm a hundred percent yeah. agree with you. I, in the, and they're a lot different now than they were 20 years ago, 20 years ago, they didn't talk about uh, food intolerances. It was just allergies or no allergies. So someone had an intolerance to gluten. It was like, you know, you, it wasn't something they even considered. It was less about the behavior and more about the, you know, look at your calories and eat these foods and here's your meal plan type of deal. But now I'm seeing a lot more of the behavior stuff. So I think they're pretty good. Somebody who's an actual nutritionist um, is probably generally going to be better than the average fitness and health influencer that's going to recommend nutrition. So that's that I want to make that point because uh, I don't want people to be like, oh, I heard, you know, some nutritionists aren't good. So I'm going to go with this Instagram influencer. You're, you're more still, likely you're to have like the worst nutritionist is still slap better than you. That. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get really bad uh, information. So here's the things to consider. Red flags are, do you, do you not like working with them? Because if that, that makes a big difference, do they not consider your behaviors? And how to work with behaviors, not just, you know, calories, macros, and, and that kind of stuff. And do they not consider things like food intolerances, digestion, uh, you know, your, how your stool is, your heartburn, that kind of stuff. Those would be some of the red flags I would Yeah, say. are they not working into your lifestyle either? Like, so, like, trying to present you with items and things that are just not even something you would even go out and buy. Yeah. Like, it's, I've, I've had good nutritionists where they actually, like, go shopping with them, and, and they, they try and make it so it's not too far away from what they would normally eat with their families and all that. It's just, you know, a bit tighter it's a bit like more whole foods based it's a little more of healthier options uh, for them to pick and and keep incorporating so i just like when they work with uh, the person's behavior versus like just trying to give them a plan and being super rigid about it hey if you enjoyed that clip you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe